Police are continuing their investigation into what caused the Sea to Sky gondola to collapse. Now, they say the popular tourist attraction appears to have been sabotaged. Let's bring in Arthi Paul. She is tracking the story and has more of the details. So what exactly is the latest into this investigation? Well, essentially, RCMP continue to try and look for suspects. They believe that, in fact, the cable for these cars for the gondola was deliberately cut, uh, that this cable was deliberately severed, and they're calling it an act of vandalism, and they are looking for individuals who may have, for example, hiked underneath this particular cable or this line in order to cut that particular cable and cause the 30 cars to come crashing down. This happened at four in the morning on Saturday morning. Now, if it had been during their hours of operation, which is later on in the day, around 9 a.m., there could have been up to 240 people. This, these cars can carry up to 240 people, so it could have been incredibly devastating. We do know that at this stage no one is injured, but we do know that this investigation is open. It is the site of a crime right now, and they've closed off uh, several parts of this location itself within B.C. Parks to carry out this investigation. And uh, we know that there was actually a number of, number of people in the area at the time, and here's how they described it when it all happened. I heard like it was like a gunshot at first and that woke me up and then it was like the big bang that was like super loud and it was long enough for these guys to like get out of their tent and run out to see and we couldn't see anything. But uh, yeah, it was super scary. I thought it was like like rocks falling and then he, my husband said it was like, it sounded more like metal. He's like, I think it's gone. I'm like, no, nah, that's crazy. So again, reacting just to the, the severity of the noise that you're hearing because these are huge weights coming crashing mm -hmm. down and again, just so grateful and thankful that nobody was on board at the time. Yeah, luckily no one was on board. Luckily no one was below to actually get hurt. But let's uh, talk about the, the operators of the gondolas. Are they making any comment? I know we, we're hearing from witnesses in the RCMP, but what about the gondola operators? Well, the gondola operators, uh, the CEO, for example, was saying the general manager said that in fact the cable had just been investigated, had gone through maintenance checks and was in good condition, saying that this is a highly unusual occurrence that they make sure that they undergo all of these safety checks. In addition to that, the broader impact too, these rides bring in so much revenue during the course of the summer, especially so right now. And uh, as a result of that, of course, they're facing losses, millions of dollars worth of damage as well when they try to do those repairs. So facing a bit of an uphill battle, but of course also respecting this investigation. And they say they are focused on uh, police finding a suspect. Okay, Arthi, thank you for that. You're welcome.